National Australia Bank. We're one of the larger banks in Australia. It's a 150-year-old organisation, um, very large, about 30,000 people, uh, and we handle a very large portion of the Australian financial economy. AMS and allowed us to, without any technical staff, get started on cloud migration um, with a very safe best practice platform. It allowed us to get up and running with a great platform that had full governance controls as well as enabling our application teams to move fast without having the people on the ground, without going out and recruiting and training you know, hundreds of cloud engineers. So we set this goal of 30 applications migrated out of our data center into the cloud in the 50 days. And by doing that, we, we, we got everyone to work together. We got everyone to understand the importance. Enterprise DevOps is really our way of enabling our application teams to write applications without all of the blockers that you would normally get in a waterfall approach. Um, it enables them to get started with the platform very quickly and that platform has guardrails built into it. But our teams don't see those guardrails unless they breach a policy. They're just invisible to the application teams. They can get on and do what they do best without having all of the delays that come through that governance. So AMS is like training wheels. We don't have the technical people on board now, but we are aggressively training our teams. We are aggressively hiring cloud engineers. We anticipate in one to two years, we'll be completely ready to take over the AMS platform ourselves and run um, with a complete model that just allows us to get on and do what we have to do really quickly. And it'll change the whole aspect from that outsourced arrangement back to a fully insourced arrangement with highly technical people who can innovate and who can move the platform forward in, in the way that we wish to do that.